17 Capitol reporter Michael Hyland at the state Democratic watch party tonight. And Michael, the fight over Senator Tillis' seat is expected to be one of the hottest races in November. Absolutely. Eyes all over the country are on this race. And it became official tonight with Democrat Kyle Cunningham going to be the one taking on Republican Senator Tom Tillis in November. Experts I've talked to say this is going to be one of the most competitive, if not the most competitive Senate race in the country. I want to show you some video from earlier when Kyle Cunningham was here speaking to his supporters. He talked about his experience in the military and went after Tillis saying he's too weak to take on the partisanship in Washington. This was an unusual primary because Republicans spent millions of dollars running ads in North Carolina to promote a different Democrat in this race, Erica Smith. She took more liberal positions, so Republicans thought they may have an easier time beating her. Cunningham ran for Senate once before 10 years ago, but that time he did not win the nomination. This time, he got more than half the vote. Here's what he told his supporters. Mitch McConnell and Tom Tillis' allies snuck into our primary and tried to trick North Carolina voters. Well, friends, tonight won't be the last time their deception fails. Because here in North Carolina, the truth still matters. Senator Tillis' campaign put out a statement this evening after the results came in trying to draw contrast between the two. Tillis talked up his support for President Trump, including the tax cuts that passed a few years ago. Cunningham is hitting the campaign trail again on Wednesday, returning to his hometown of Lexington. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.